Well, this past year has been a bit rugged. There's been a lot of loss in my life this past year, starting with Lauren's dad earlier in last year, uh, a dear friend who I, I've known in Indianapolis forever, uh, passed away in August. My father died in October. Erica Luckett, a colleague, died around the same time. My stepmother in February slipped and fell on the ice and did not recover. She died within an hour of another very old and dear friend of mine. So it's been a rough time. A lot of beauty, a lot of joy, but a lot of sadness. The thing is, though, you know, we are the ones, the ones who are left are the ones who really experience the sadness. They are free now. The other thing is that they always live in our hearts. Our loved ones never leave us because it is the love that remains. It's called the shepherd. She was a mentor, a teacher, a writer, a poet with an ear for music and a love of the language. She made you feel special, pulled you into her world, a shepherd of souls in anguish. And now that she's gone, she's more than all these things, and she lives inside each of our hearts, and we treasure her memory, live by her creed. Knowing we're never really apart, we're never really apart. She had the kindness that all saints carry. She'd stand back and observe while digging right into the fabric of all these threads. Pulled into our world, a shepherd of souls who seek magic. But now that she's gone, she's more than all these things, and she lives inside each of our hearts. And we treasure her memory, live by her creed, knowing we're never really. she's gone she's more than all these things and she lives inside each of our hearts and we treasure her memory live by her creed knowing we're never really Thank you.